Hi guys, welcome back to my second episode of Let's Build. So today I'm going to build oh, a lovely, I always say lovely, I don't know why, but I'm going to build a bakery today. So I'll tell you what I've done so far. I've done my base, I've done a checkered floor with pink wool and white wool and I'm using quartz, a block of quartz today to build this um, building here. I've done the base I think it's 13 by 11 and over here in this corner I've left it unfinished and I'll show you what I'm going to do usually it would be um, you would put three more blocks here to complete the square so one two three here and then one two three there but I am going to put the door here I think, I think it's quite different instead of putting it at the front where doors usually go why not put it in the corner so I'm going to just build that up by two blocks of glass and then I tried this tried this out before and I think a jungle do jungle wood door would look quite nice so I'll put that there as my gut so so I know it's there already okay okay so now I'm going to build up the walls of the bakery and I'm going to do that by four blocks Okay, I've done that, completed all the way around, and I've left some spaces here for the windows. So I've, I'm going to put, uh, put groups of four with a gap in the middle of a one block and then four. So let's just fill that up with the glass. And then to complete this bit here, I'll just build up, whoops, build up by two. Cover up the door there we go okay now i'm going to start with the actual back of the bakery we're going to put the big bread oven first i'm going to do these shelves with dark oak slabs these can be the shelves for where you can place the bread after it's cooked and then we're going to do the actual bread oven with normal bricks so oh gosh i keep pressing that so I'm going to build two out from the wall and then four across like so and then I'm going to put some nether brick nether rack sorry right in the right in the middle like that and then we fill up fill up the rest of it all around and then oh make sure you making sure I put a gap in the middle there then we take some slabs some brick slabs and then cover over the top of the nether rack like so and then i'm going to put another section of bricks here just four right in the middle and then i'm going to try and put two brick brick blocks right there at the back kind of makes it look like a funnel shaped oven like at the top there we go. And now let's fire this baby up. Um, I need some flint. That's it. Burn, baby, burn, burn. Okay. Uh, I hope this doesn't... That's it. There we go. Fire. Fire. Okay, now... Why do I keep doing that? Goodness. I'm going to put my furnaces like this. Um, I think I'm going to do nine of them yeah this can be where all the other stuff is baked like i don't know cakes and bread rolls and i don't know profiter rolls okay now we're gonna do the counter okay so from the oven i'm gonna go two blocks out and i'm gonna start about here i want to leave an entrance right here so that the shopkeepers can go behind the counter and i'll put some quartz block all the way around till I get to the end and then I'll leave a gap there and then carry on going this way and then leaving one block there then I'm gonna fill this up here this is where the cakes are gonna go I'm gonna get the glass my glass pane and start placing it along here 
and I'm going to put the cakes behind it. So it's kind of like that kind of glass screen you get when you walk into bakeries and you kind of press your face against the screen and you go, Ooh, I want cake. So there, that's it. Now I'm going to put the till here. And for the till, I'm going to use the brick stairs because that's kind of looks like a till. Looks mostly like it. So I go behind here. Um, I think I'll put it here. Yes. Okay, I think I'm nearly done. Just going to go ahead and do the roof. Okay, just working on the ceiling now. And I'm going to follow the same method I did same method I did before with the flower shop which was as I go building the ceiling I kind of plant these glow stone blocks in the middle to give the light I kind of want to use um, I don't want to use so many torches because I feel like they kind of ruin the look of the place so I'm just going to carry on filling in filling in with blocks and glowstone as I go along there we have it, finished the ceiling, it's all done. Okay, now I'm going to just quickly put some trapdoors here. Um, is that all right? Here, yeah, yeah. Okay, for behind the counter, and then back here again. Back here also. Okay, then I'm gonna get my cake and place it down. I really wish that, um, Minecraft would make all the food placeable, if you know what I mean, because the only way you can show them is by putting them in item frames, which is what I've got in here. And I'm going to kind of, let's open that, place the item frames all along the wall here, um, just so I can showcase more of the cake. But it just would be really nice if they could all make it like, you know, how you can put down the cake and then you can eat it as well. That would be quite nice if they could do that with the cookies and and like even the, the stew, the beetroot stew and the mushroom, uh, mushroom stew, I think. Anyway, that's my suggestion for future updates. Okay, then I'm going to put some item frames along here as well. This is where the bread's going to go. Um... So I can't put the breads on the shelf. See, again, that would be so cool if I could place a bread roll down. And then more item frames along here. Okay, guys, I've done all my decorating. So I'll show you what I've done. I've put signs all along the counters to show people... Uh, what they're buying. I was going to put prices but I'm not sure yet so I'll leave that till later. So we've got cakes, cookies, bread rolls and then I've put all the, um, I've filled up all the item frames with the cookies that people can buy and the bread and then behind here I've also got the cake up there in the item frames. Behind here I went a bit too overboard with the furnaces and I forgot that I needed to put a sink here. So there's a sink here, a cauldron and a tripwire hook. And then I've put three large chests and this is all the stock for the bakery. So we've got the eggs in here, we've got the sugar and milk and of course we've got the cocoa beans for the cookies. And then over here I've done the same as well for the for the bread we put all the wheat there and I need to get rid of all of that stuff in my inventory so much junk and yeah that's it I think I need to do the roof now the roof is the most boring one more, more challenging one but not before I put some uh, torches just to light it up slightly more here just a few here that's it and maybe one there can I get there and probably one over the door okay and let's go and start on the roof oh actually I need to put a pressure plate down always good to put a pressure plate down let's put it there perfect okay I've just come outside and I've seen there's a bit of a gap here so I'll just fill that up with the quartz 
Let's I'm going to do a little, a little kind of, um, I don't know what it's called, is it like a canopy thing? <laughs> I don't know what they're called, I'll have to kind of find out the real name for them, but they kind of go over the shop doors and they're kind of striped. I'm going to put a pink and white striped one right out here, kind of, kind of reminds me of an umbrella, kind of, and you know when it's raining people go and stand under them, <laughs> I know it sounds really dumb, but anyway. <laughs> I'll just carry on doing this like that. Um, let me see how I will do this. Um, and like that. Probably get rid of that and do that as white. And then. Hmm. It kind of doesn't look right no matter what colour I pick it might look a bit weird okay we'll go with that so yeah it's like a little umbrella now I'm gonna start with the roof I'm going to use stone brick stairs for this and I'm going to knock these two bits out I don't think I'll need them and just carry on I'll knock those bits out too I might actually knock that glowstone out. Oh. Actually, I won't. Yeah, I'll do it that way. And then I will. There, join them on like that. Okay, the roof is done and now I'm just going to see where the oven is it's about oh gosh it's about here okay then I'm gonna go up and build a chimney right I'd say about here that's it let's make a big one so make it three by two and then build it up by two levels and then I'm going to put some webs to simulate the smoke coming from the chimney there we go there's the lovely smoke coming out from the chimney now I'm just going to get some of these brick slabs and um, kind of go around the edges just because if you can see it kind of looks a bit like it's missing something and this will give it a better look we go all around with these slabs just to kind of complete the roofing with the roof I went I used the stone brick stairs and I went up only three levels I was thinking to kind of go up all the way to the top but then I just used three levels and then filled in the middle with the stone brick blocks that is done I feel like this pink thing is too big so what I will do is I will trim it down to size a bit and then use this white one instead there we go I think that's much better okay I'm nearly done I'm just going to start finishing the outside Okay, I'm going to make window sills right outside these windows here and I'm using the dark oak slabs boom boom and here and let's finish them off with some flower pots 
and poppies. There we go. And finally over here. Okay, and I want to put one, actually before I do that I need to sort out, I, don't, I kind of don't want grass going into the bakery like this, so let's sort this out and we'll use um, the stone brick slabs, bricks sorry, let's do this, so it looks kind of a bit more professional, you know what I mean, there we are, and then I'm going to put a torch here, and a nice little flower pot here to finish it off, and then the last thing I need to do is put a sign like I did with the flower shop, so we'll put some dark oak wood fence here, and then the block of quartz with the item frames all around. That's it. And then I've got rid of my cake again, so we'll get the cake, we'll get the cookies to put in the item frames, and then finally the bread. That's it. Uh, okay. So I'm going to put, I think I'll put the bread here, it's getting dark guys, there's a spy, um, skeleton somewhere, I can hear it and it's just really annoying me, but luckily I'm in creative, so it's okay. I did think about building this in survival, but then I thought no, I would just die too many times and then that would be frustrating, so... I think, I think I'm all done, so we'll have a quick tour, that's the outside, and then we'll go in, and then we'll speak to the shop assistant behind the counter and tell them what we want, and there we go. <laughs> We've got the bread rolls, the cookies, the cakes, it's very nice, and a little till. And we can go out the door just like that. And there we go. Thank you guys for taking some time out to watch my tutorial. Well, it's not really a tutorial, but <laughs> to watch me build this bakery. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you kind of like this style. It's kind of different from ones I've seen online before. I haven't seen anything else like this. It's a kind, kind of a bit more contemporary bit more kind of cute and girly but you can actually make it however you like and just you know customize it to how you prefer but yeah I hope you enjoyed this if you have any other suggestions for me as to what I could build next or if there's anything I could improve on or anything at all please leave me a comment down below and yeah leave a like and please subscribe that would really help me and i'd appreciate it so much thank you bye bye guys